Hello everyone, welcome to ACE Preparation League. In this session, we are going to discuss about heat transfer through a composite wall. Now, before going into this concept in detail, first of all, let us see what are the assumptions that come under this particular case. So, here if you observe, we are considering one dimensional condition. So, that means we are considering the heat transfer only in the x direction. The second one is we are considering steady state. So, steady state means there is no change in temperature with respect to time. Then there is no internal heat generation. No internal heat generation means we are considering Qg is equal to 0 and there is negligible contact resistance because as we are considering composite slab here. So, when two different metals come in contact, there will be certain resistance to the heat flow due to that contact. So, that also we are neglecting in order to solve this particular composite wall condition. So, here we are considering only conduction in this and we are neglecting the effects of convection also. So, if you observe, there are two different materials here which are having different thermal conductivities K1 and K2. The thickness of these two materials is also different and L1 is the thickness of the first slab and L2 is the thickness of the second one. Now, heat flow takes place in this particular direction because we have considered T1 greater than T2 greater than T3 here. So, heat flow takes place in this particular direction here. Now, this one can be represented in electrical analogy also like this. So, if you take this is at temperature T1 and here it is at temperature T2 and the thermal resistance due to conduction let us consider it as RTH1 in the first slab. In the second one, this is temperature T3, this one is RTH2. Now, we need to find out what is the overall heat transfer in this particular composite wall or composite slab condition. So, for that, first of all, as we have considered steady state condition, whatever is the heat transferred in this first portion that will be equal to heat transferred in the second portion also and that will be also equal to the overall heat transfer. So, let us see what is heat transferred in the first one. So, heat transferred in the first one Q is equal to, we can write like this T1 minus T2 by L1 by K1 into area. Similarly, we can write Q is equal to T2 minus T3 by L2 by K2 into area here. See, why we have considered area to be same in both the walls is, we need to consider the area that is perpendicular to the heat flow direction. So, if we consider in such a way, so, this is the area that we have to consider. So, the area that is perpendicular to the heat flow direction. So, when we take this particular area for both the slabs, it is same. That is the reason I have just considered A there. Now, see here this L1 by K1 A is nothing but RTH1 and L2 by K2 A is nothing but RTH2. <coughs> now, from this, if we write T1 minus T2, this will be Q into L1 by K1 A and T2 minus T3 is equal to Q L2 by K2 A. Now, if I add these two, then we are going to get T1 minus T3, which is equal to Q into L1 by K1 A plus L2 by K2 A. So, why we have added this is, when two resistances, 
or when two slabs are connected in series, then their resistance, the equivalent resistance or the total resistance will be RTH1 plus RTH2. So, here we have considered T1 minus T3 such that we are getting RTH1 plus RTH2 into the amount of heat transferred here. Now, from this, we can write heat transfer Q is equal to T1 minus T3 by L1 by K1A plus L2 by K2A. Now, this can be written as T1 minus T3 by RTH1 plus RTH2. So, this is the formula for heat transfer in the composite slab. Suppose, if there are n such slabs like this, if there are n slabs, then this formula can be written as Q is equal to T1 minus Tn plus 1 by sigma n equal to 1 to n RTH n. So, this is the formula which we can consider. Why we have considered n plus 1 here is try to understand in this particular case there are two slabs. So, when there are two slabs here we have got T1 minus T3 as the overall temperature difference. So, for two slabs we have got this temperature as T3. If there are n slabs, then we are going to get T n plus 1 as the temperature at the other end. Okay, That is the reason we have considered like this. And remember students, always we need to consider heat transferred as the overall temperature difference by sigma RTH. This is the formula that we are going to get anywhere. Now, see while solving the problems, you have certain things here which you need to remember. See, sometimes he will give you T1, T3 temperature, L1, L2, K1, K2 values and he will be asking you to determine the intermediate temperature T2. In such a case, as we have considered steady state condition, whatever is the heat transferred in this portion that will be equal to heat transferred in this particular portion. So, you can write like this T1 minus T2 by L1 by K1 A. This is equal to T2 minus T3 by L2 by K2 A. Area gets cancelled because the area perpendicular to the heat flow direction we have considered it to be same. So, from this particular equation T1 minus T2 by L1 by K1 is equal to T2 minus T3 by L2 by K2. We can easily determine this T2 temperature when K1, K2, T1, T3, L1, L2 are given in the question. Also, sometimes questions may be asked in order to determine the ratio of thermal conductivities or ratio of temperature drops in the first and second slabs or ratio of the thicknesses. Then also you can use this particular formula for solving the problem. It will take minimum time to solve this. If you follow the procedure and find out what is the heat transfer and then solve it, it will take little more time. So, you can use this formula. This is also a valid formula. So, you can use this particular formula and solve the problem. For more interesting videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to learn more interesting things and concepts like this from our expert faculty members, please download ACE online app. The link will be available in the description box below. Thank you very much.